Welcome back. Healthy living just got easier in North Dakota. The state is the first in the nation to provide the healthy living app the voyage to its Medicaid recipients. Produced by New Ocean Health Solutions, the app offers personalized self-management wellness plans at the tip of your fingers. Joining me now is the chairman and CEO of New Ocean, Hal Rosenbluth. Hal, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Nice to be with you. Mark. So much competition out there right now yeah. in this space in terms of wellness apps. Tell yeah. us about the venture, how it began, and why this differentiates from Sure. My Fitness Pal, all these other yeah. uh, wellness apps out there. Well, all the, the devices, they all connect automatically into our mobile health solution. Um, but you're right, it's an overcrowded space. Um, it's overhyped, it's overpriced, um, and not all that effective. Uh, I can't even define what a wellness program is anymore. Sometimes it's nutrition, sometimes it's, you know, it's exercise. Ours is, is comprehensive. It's all the way through lifestyle management programs, through to chronic disease management, which is the most expensive part of, of health care. And we believe that providing this to corporations and to health plans for their members and their employees so that they can take health care into their own hands and have a personal program every day to help them with whatever um, you know, may be wrong with them health-wise or what they want to improve or stay healthy. Well, this is a good point because what, what yours program is doing is doing this for corporations and putting it in their actual wellness plan or their health care plan. Take us through how this app works, the types of benefits that, that users get. Sure. So somebody, you know, fills out what we call a private health assessment and that shows what kind of an individual they are, what their personal archetype is, whether they're ready to make changes or, or they're not and answers a lot of questions which would identify them as you know maybe being a diabetic or um, or being healthy or or whatever you know, might might ail them and from that um, we use behavioral science and economics to put together a daily list of activities for the individual making it easy for them you know on their time carrying it with them on their smartphone to use and, and improve their health. And uh, companies will incent people to do that because it's best for everybody. The company's costs will go down, the person's um, health will improve, and uh, the person's out-of-pocket expenses should, should be reduced as well. So we like to create things that work for everybody because, frankly, taking care of one's health is, is not easy and it's not fun anymore. What kind of reception are you getting from corporations? Do corporations view this as something that they need to be investing in for their, for their people? Yeah, a lot find it as, as a competitive requirement, some as, as a perk, but we want to bust all that and, and really disrupt it and make it very, very effective. And we've cut the price by probably four-fifths to make it that much more affordable for companies of of all sizes, very large health plans and, and small companies as well. Because a, a recent Gallup poll found that among the companies with over 1,000 employees, 85% offer wellness programs. Yeah. What, you know, what is your program doing that is better if the 85% are already doing it? I know you're largely in the large company space, but you're also announcing something for small companies today. Yeah, for small companies, for companies up to 1,000 today. Well, our price point, number one, is very, very low, but secondly, by using behavioral economics and science and change theory, we understand why people want to change or they don't want to change. Do they need a nudge? You know, what, you know, what are they looking for? We have symptom checkers. We have the ability to uh, 1,000 videos for people to look at uh, when any particular healthcare subject. And then we've gamified it so that people can, as they go throughout the program, you know, learn new things. And we push information to them and to their loved ones so they can they can nominate um, a loved one and say that if I don't take my medications, please push a notification to them to, to remind me to, to, to do so. so. What, what, do you, what do you make of all that's going on in terms of the consolidation in, your, in this yeah. space? You, you look at Amazon. Well, yesterday we had news that perhaps Amazon's going to be pulling back and not doing what we thought. But you've got CVS, Aetna, Humana, Walmart. Everybody's getting together. Why and what's your take on that? Well, uh, the healthcare industry needs to be disrupted, and there's new players coming in. There's been a lot of dating, there's a lot of engagement, and now there's some marriages, and I think, I think it'll continue, and for different reasons, and each brings something different to the party. So in some cases, I think it'll be very successful. In other cases, who knows? We'll, we'll find out. Hal, we'll be watching. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, you're quite welcome. Good to see you. Hal Rosenbluth there.